alumni relations and development work at a time of merger and in the years uh, following a, a major merger is a really fascinating uh, and intoxicating time to be, to be involved in this line of work. Um, I think some of the lessons we learned at Manchester were, uh, uh, would, would hold true and be useful for others as well. The overall focus of the communication strategy for the university was uniformly to be extremely positive about the vision and values and goals of the new combined institution. That was absolutely the right thing to do. Um, what we found when we talked with our alumni was that they would, they would, to a certain degree, buy into that, which was very important. What they missed uh, was a celebration of the, of the history of the two predecessor institutions. And I think looking back on it, we could have done more to make it clear that the new institution really did celebrate and was incredibly proud of the successes of the two predecessor institutions. So that's one thing we definitely learned. You need to find that right balance between the two. But selling the vision for the new institution is absolutely critical because without that, you're not going to elevate people's thoughts and sights to want to support you financially as well as in other ways. I think the other uh, key rule of thumb for, uh, for that we learned quickly in, in this area, which applies to just about any area of work in any field, is never assume anything. Uh, I certainly went out into some early discussions with graduates 20, 30 years ago um, assuming that they would be uncomfortable or have really difficult questions about the whole merger process. So I went into those meetings almost anticipating that and beginning to talk slightly defensively about the new institution. I immediately discovered that graduates from certain eras hadn't actually realised that the two institutions had been separate at all. So you very quickly learnt not to assume anything, um, uh, but overall keep the message positive all the way through.